Nerdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's mug and Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Yukoko no um, Moriety, aka Moriety the Patriot chapter or 70. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I am just a one woman in somewhere around here. One adorable little kitty operation struggling to keep a roof over our heads and praying to the anime and manga gods that we are not going to be homeless and living on the street. But, but, but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, last chapter, my poor baby, Billy the Kid. We got his backstory, and I fucking love Billy the Kid so much. I feel so bad for him. Um... His backstory was very, very, very interesting. I really did enjoy it. I feel so bad that he went through all that shit. And his, and his friend, his, his bro protected him. He did. Ugh. Fucking asshole bandits. And we found out the reason why he wanted to go on this mission with, our mission slash assignment with, um, with Moriarty and Holmes is because it involves those motherfuckers that screwed his butt, his bro over. So <laughs> I love seeing stories like this, especially when it involves corruption and all that. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm stoked. Let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us this month. And this chapter is titled the Valley of Fellows act four face your sins and follow the path of atonement. God damn, Holmes looks good. State of Pennsylvania, uh, Vermissa, an incident intertwined with Billy's past is still underway. Be quiet, be quiet, everyone. Um, McGinney is, uh, intention to chase us out of, out of this town. In order to do so, he's even hired a group of hitmen. God damn. I know, but those armed forces are trouble. That's why I said that something like letting go of this place is, um, wait, is TCH, wait, what? TCH? Whatever. Then what do you say? Uh, what do you say we do? Who on earth is gonna stand up against uh, McGinney? Wait. Who on earth is gonna stand up against McGinney? Let's see. That is us. But how? The law is on our side. Um, in this town, McGinney is um is the law. Even the sheriff has been bribed by him. Yep. That's why I, I love this shit. That's precisely why we're the ones who have to do it. Yee. Yeah. They're brutal. I know that everyone wants to leave this place, but we have nothing else left. This land is our right. Um, is the proof? Wait, we have, but we have nothing else left. This land is our right. Is the proof of our existence. That's why we have to fight. Damn straight. I won't fight. I won't fight. I'll pray to God. What good will praying do? I agree. <laughs> Same. I second this. Be quiet, everyone. This place is the house of God. Dude, God, God wants you to fight for your land. Trust. Ooh. Hey, you. Hey, you. Spit in here. What? Hurry up. Ooh. Pass it around in order. Why? I will have a huge road pass through this town, a very long and large highway directly connecting two big cities. This will further accelerate the capitalism of this country and bring wealth and happiness to even more citizens. Woo! Is this... No, this ain't Route 66. No way. In other words, um, in order for this country to reach the future it should aim for, I'm working to obtain the maximum possible welfare, but you stubbornly refuse to try and cooperate with me. As a result, you're hindering this country's development. For such a trifling thing as this... So soil? Yes, it's just a plot of land. If you knew what the contents of the bottle were, none of you would have spit. I can't understand your obsession with this land at all, but I treat everything equally whether it's covered in spit or soaked in blood, because I'm a businessman. I'll pay $30 per lot of this land. Evicting us for such a small sum of money... Um, Evicting us for... Such a small sum of money. The conditions will only get worse in the future. Oh, shit. Everyone, get out. Yeah, hurry up. Stop. Such a thing is going against the Lord. I'll 
come you're getting two weeks? If you're satisfied with the conditions, prepare the documents for the transfer of rights. If you're not, whoo, you better start praying. What a prick! Are you all right? Uh, they overdid it. Despite everything, we're still human beings. What do we even do? Why are you doing this? For a plot of land? Oh, he stabbed him! What a prick! No! Now you did it! Dude, now they're just shooting them with a bunch of fucktards! Run! Leave the corpses as they are, Sheriff, as a warning. Roger that. Oh my fucking god. This is not a businessman. Fuck no, this is a prick. Dear Mr. Sherlock Holmes, this the person in this picture is Jack McGinty. In the poor village of uh, Vermissa, located in the state of Pennsylvania, a forced land acquisition by his company is underway. Dude, that is illegal as fuck. You can't do that shit. His method um, consisted in hiring um, a murderous gang called um, Scout... Scours, there we go, that uh, uses inhuman ways such as violence and intimidation and um, subjugating people. Oh, wait, sorry, I fucked this up. That uses inhuman ways such as violence and intimidation to subjugate people, right? Yeah. Nevertheless, I did, it's, I'm getting used to reading cursive here again. It's been a minute. Oh, God. I love that we're using cursive up in here because cursive is something that should not die out. But goddamn, it takes a minute. Oh, God. Nevertheless, uh, there haven't been denounces or complaints uh, regarding him, probably due to the victim's fear of brutal retaliation. However, in this case, the townspeople are looking for bodyguards to fight against McGinty as a, as a group. This time, your mission consists in going on site and in, um, incapacitate both him and the sc uh, scours. Please do not let our uh, um, intervention be discovered. Uh, as usual, the authorities are completely unaware of your operation. Mm, unaware, quote unquote. <laughs> DOJ get involved. Yes. See, the motherfuckers think they could do. They think that they're doing this in the name of capitalism. Oh bullshit! They're doing it in the name of their ego. They're doing it in the name of envy. Well, not envy. They're doing it in the name of greed. Mm hmm. See, here's the thing. I'm all about free market capitalism, but this shit right here, this ain't free market capitalism. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. This ain't no free market capitalism right here. This is criminal shit. Nah. You don't threaten people and do this shit in, for in free market capitalism. Nah. That's fucked up. This is criminal activity. You don't murder and do this shit. Nah. We wish you the best of luck. That guy, McGinty, he's the one responsible for crushing my hometown and killing my best friend. Ooh, he is. That's why I also want to participate in the operation, so that from now on, I can go on living while facing forward. Please, senpai. Jeez. Even if I told you no way, you'd come anyway, right? <laughs> yes, he would. Even senpai, even so, uh, Billy, this might not end up with the best result for you. Are you still okay with it? I know. I get it. I'll go back home and prepare for our departure. Thank you, Senpai. Surely, if it's you, you will sh uh, surely be able to guide him on the right path, just like you did with me. I understand what he wants, though. Billy just wants closure. And what Sherlock, Sherlock wants to make sure, what, what Sherlock is worried is that he's going to be all about vengeance and shit and lose his way and head down this really nasty path. But all Billy wants is to get closure and move forward. And once this is taken care of so that no one else has to face what, you know, his hometown went through and, you know, um, have anyone else lose friends like uh, he did or lose family or homes or whatever, then he can, uh, he'll feel better and he'll be able to move forward. So I understand. I understand what he's trying to do. It makes a lot of sense. So I'm really curious what you guys think. Well, I'm going to do everything I can, but however things play out, the ending is up to him. Damn straight. But 
I understand also what he means with, with killing. If he kills him, it will be, it'll be very interesting to see what happens with Billy. Will this mean Billy will turn evil, quote unquote evil? But this motherfucker deserves justice and him dying, McGinney dying is taking the easy way out. Nah, he need to face justice for what he did. He needs to go and face the system. That's what I think Sherlock, um, Sherlock and, uh, um, and, uh, Moriarty want hit. Um, and I think Billy wants that too, is for him to face the, the crime and atone for all the crimes that he's done and him if he dies he won't be able to do it at least that's my opinion sorry Liam you'll have to burn the directives uh, that is the rules um all, that are the yeah that is the rule also uh, you still have not recovered fully and you're not familiar with this city you're not thinking about forcing yourself to go out alone right this building is owned by the government and is perfectly secure, so don't worry, okay? I've also shopped for groceries and... I'm not a child. You don't need to worry. It also goes for you. Be sure to listen to what Billy says and obey his commands. This is not England and your destination is a rural town. Don't be suspicious due to the different um, accent and customs. Mm-hmm. I get it. I get it. I've been working for almost half a year now. Well, I'm going. I think that you're um, worried uh, worried as well, William Cunn. Um... Leave some pie to me. I will protect him even at uh, the cost of my life. Ooh, so Moriarty's staying. So he ain't going. And, I, and I'm glad he's not going. Not nah, he has to heal. I'm glad that you're able to write. And I think, and I understand, Moriarty does see himself in, in William. He does. He does, for sure. I'm glad that you're able to ride a horse, Senpai. I wanted to avoid trouble as much as possible until we arrived in Vermissa. Um, riding something eye-catching as a carriage here is like saying, Attack me to the night, thie night thieves. Huh, there are night thieves here? Yep, there yep, there are. Stagecoaches are, are attacked so frequently. It's really like in the world of Western novels. More importantly, I don't... Well, duh, they're based off... Of, hey, they're based off a of grain of truth. Uh, more importantly, about the course of action we should undertake once we arrive in town. What are you planning to do? I want to hear what you think first. Right. Usually the first thing to do is hire a local to do the work, or at least so says the procedures, but this time the townspeople are recruiting bodyguards to fight against McGinney, so I was wondering if we should participate in the recruitment as well. If they prepared an army here, um, an army here too, it would be an easy victory, but the government's involvement would be would be obvious. That's why we should give the impression of fighting with the townsfolk among the other bodyguards. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm a master of guns, right? And you, Ponytail Senpai, are a master of martial art. I don't understand very well. Uh, I don't understand very well, so we'll definitely be hired. It's called Baritsu. Mm. I'll think about detailed strategy later. I also think this is a good uh, starting base. I know, right? I also guess the bodyguards having even a little skill would be helpful, though most of them are most of them are bounty hunters. Don't expect too much. I have no intention of counting on them. Uh, uh, wait. Yeah. Yes, sir. Also, Billy, promise me just one thing. See? Avoid killing your opponents as much as you can. I understand. See, I told you. Stealing weapons, shooting at the arms, that's enough to make a dent in the enemy's morale and eliminate the threat. It should be possible if the two of us cooperate. Is that all right? I get it. It will be all right, senpai. Taking a life is a huge thing. All right, let's move and go as far as we can before nightfall. The horses have rested long enough as well. Roger. I think we'll be able to reach the town around noon tomorrow, ponytail senpai. Billy, what? Don't really mind the ponytail part, but what is that senpai? Um, you're far more expert in this job, right? Huh? Sen senpai is senpai. I mean, I'm younger than you guys, ain't it? Uh, guys, ain't I? Wait, wait, wait. Then why not go for Sherlock Hun as a William Hun? Oh no, Sherlock Hun is hard to say. The double K part, you know. Uh, the double K part, you know. <laughs> Do you want me to call you Sherlock Hun then? Um, no, at this point, limit yourself to ponytail senpai, please. Is that so? <laughs> well, I guess calling William Hun, um, Liam senpai would be fine. But somehow Liam feels like senpai's trademark. Uh, 
I feel like I should, shouldn't say it casually. That's why I wonder if, after all, I should call you Ponytail Senpai and William Cun. That's the best way, right? <laughs> Jeez, that's fine. I'll, I, Jeez, that's fine. I tell you. Eh, but you're the one I, I heard it from, Senpai. <laughs> Are you worried about William Cun? Mm, of course he is. You were constantly nursing him, and now you'll have to be apart until the end of the mission. You're worried because his body hasn't fully healed yet, aren't you? Of course he is. The thing I'm more worried about is his mental state. Ooh, that's true. Liam is probably always thinking about the best way to atone, basing himself on that uh, on the premise that there must exist a universal form of atonement that can be established at any time, anywhere, regardless of the country or, um, or even the other party. If he is trapped in that kind of premise, then he might need some time. He's a mathematician. Uh, that's why he's surely looking for a single cl uh, clear solution. Hey, even math problems don't have a single clear solution. I mean, it depends on the type of math, but hell, well, you know what? I'm going to say this. Even calculus, if you go into like adva advanced calculus, there's not always a clear solution. Shit, so statistics doesn't have a clear solution half the time. So, physics, I'm not, I don't know about physics having a clear solution. But, yeah, at least if you go into advanced, like, really advanced math, there's not a clear solution some of the times. There, there one clear solution. There could be multiple solutions. There we go. I see. Then what will you do, Ponytail Senpai? I, I will just wait. Yeah. Until by struggling, he will grasp something. Yep. Gazing at the flickering fire and facing the flickering heart. Well, yeah, that's all he can do. He has to figure it out himself. No one can figure it out for him. He has to have this soul journey himself. And Billy is kind of the same way. He has to figure out his own version of atonement um, for what happened to his, you know, what happened to his bro. And, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens here if he's going to shoot this bitch dead or not. But Sherlock has got to watch him. Got to watch him closely. Make sure you don't shoot him dead. Because that bitch has plenty to atone for. Let the justice system handle him. He'll atone there, whether it be in prison or getting hanged. Or getting the electric chair. Because what he's done is really fucked up. I'm just saying. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think of um of this chapter i think it's so interesting what's happening in this manga i do i really hope more people start reading it if they haven't already and this there's a reason why the series is in is part of the um holy mystery trinity with uh, detective kona and ron Kamonahashi. because there's just so much depth to it whether it uh, whether it be like you know the mystery itself um, or, um, or the psychology of the characters they're going through that, you know, we're dealing with here. And in this case, I love that there's the government aspect of this. Like, it just makes it so fascinating. I like this shit. It's so cool. I like the historical aspect to this too. I think it's just so interesting. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kick it so I can keep bringing you more variety of the Patriot content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.